Alright, I have a double unboxing today. Uh, both products were from the same company. They're almost the same thing, so I'll just include both of them in one video. Um, I don't really know how to pronounce the company name. I've never heard of it before. I want to say it's Kamashi. Kamashi, Kamashi. However you pronounce that. Uh, this is the first one, and let's get right to it. Slide it out of the sleeve here. That's a manual. Don't need that. Pretty uh, tightly packed in there. Let's open that. This is the charging cable for it. Uh, by the way, both these are external batteries. There's just some differences between these. Let's toss that box there. Don't need it. Get this plastic wrap off. This first one is actually the bigger of the two battery parts of it. This one is 11,200 milliamp hours. And. Okay, that's not label. That stays there. Alright, there's the USB port where you can charge your device from. There's the charging port. And this also doubles as a flashlight. Currently, out of the box, it is about half charged. If you hold down the power button, the flashlight turns on. And that is pretty bright. Yeah, that is really bright. Shouldn't shine that in my face. Alright, that is just a simple external battery. This one is not waterproof, I don't think. Although it does say outdoor, I'm not going to chance them with that one. That's what ruined my other one. I was using it in the rain. Now let's open the second one. Don't need the manual there. This is also a Bluetooth speaker. This is the first one I actually ordered and it came in at the same time. Okay, that's out of the box. Bunch of adapter pieces. Don't need that. Smaller charging cable for this one. Little hook. Mounting bracket, which I'm out of room on my bike, so I don't think I'm going to be using this. I'm going to probably just hook it to my bag with this. Or I'll actually probably just get a bigger one because I don't really trust this. Close that. This is a Bluetooth speaker flashlight. If I open up the back here, it's also an external battery. So, this is waterproof. You can use this in the shower, you can use this while biking outside in the rain, which happens to me a lot, or in the snow. I bike all year. Let's try it. There's the flashlight. different modes for it. Mounting ports, which I'm probably not going to use. I'm probably just going to use that. This one 
I will actually need to read the instructions on how to sync it. Get my phone as well. That is not English. Let's turn Bluetooth on. Um, Connection. That was pretty loud. Let's do a scan on my phone. Finally found it. I had to scan twice. That's all right. It comes up as. I don't know if you can actually see that. Let's see if it. Yeah, my phone's too bright. It comes up as SP912. Let's pair it. Connected for media audio. Okay. Let's play something I will not get flagged for. Yes, we will add it as a trusted device, that's fine. Let's find something that I will not get in trouble for using. Let's pause that. Uh, it's very bassy, which I like. Uh, and when you open up the waterproof flap on the back, you do lose some of the bass. Everyone has said that. I don't know why it does that, but that's fine for me. But yeah, I was really expecting this because I do a weekly bike ride and want a better option for music other than my phone, which is not very loud. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm going to charge both these devices and use them when I go biking or playing Angris or doing whatever I need to do where I am not close to a normal phone charging uh, availability, whether it's USB or plugging my phone into an outlet somewhere. So this is going to be nice to have with me. Now I'm just waiting on my triangular bike bag for my uh, center of my bike where I can store these when they're not being used. <laughs> 